try this again. Or should I? Yeah, I'm gonna try. Cause I usually don't like to use this on the base because it was so thick, but I just, I just loosened it up. Oops. Hopefully just loosened it up with this. So let's see what happens. And then eventually I can uh, fill, refill this all the way up with the rest of that and, and finally get rid of this bottle. I don't know how many years, decades. <laughs> This damn bottle is. I'm so disrespectful. Sorry, I should have put something on my lips. Helpful hint. Open all the bottles, especially if one of them's new before you. Now, what I have been doing is just painting my nails clear, the putting the the base coat on first and letting it dry. Because I told y'all I'm gonna start dressing up for the garden. I'm gonna start dressing up for workouts. Because really, that's why I was talking about being cute for Mr. on the weekend. Because, you know, like y'all used to do for the club. I'm going to do it for Mr. In the garden. I'm going to be showing out in the garden. I'm going to be cute. And nobody going to see it, though. Y'all will see it if I make more videos, huh? Much to use it, so... so selfish with my social media ing and whatnot don't you love when you find someone speaking about youtube specifically when you find someone a new person uh to follow on youtube that you like i mean you really like that you have love for to the point where you want to go back to their beginning videos and see the evolution of it, of their journeys Listen, I'd be so glad when it's somebody that hasn't been making a lot of videos for a long time so that I can go back and catch up on that hoe. I'd be like, oh, I love her. And also to make sure you actually love her and it's not just the character she has developed for views over the course of her. Plus, y'all know I can go back to a person's earlier videos and tell just what the fuck. I'd be like, oh, this is a sociopath for sure. And sometimes I stick around to watch the self-destruction unfold. There's a little piece of cuticle hanging out there. I'm gonna have to paint around it. That's what happens when you do your own nails. You ain't got, you can't, you don't have the flexibility to, you can't stop and handle that cuticle like your manicures did. Y'all know my mind is going right now. And I was just thinking, I just said you can't just you can't just go around and clip and, and clip up, clip off loose cuticles as you see them as you go, like your like your uh, manicurist could. But you know my mind is racing right now, you know not uncontrollably, but you know I'm I'm getting high. It makes me think about my my former manicurist. I wonder how he's doing. He was from China, you know, and we had some deep talks that he had no idea he was going to have with me because what had happened was, because I don't go for that extra chit chat with my service people as an introvert. I'm not about that life, but when I get someone who respects it and who doesn't try to talk to me too much and who doesn't try to get in my business. When they finally do say something to me, I'll respond like a regular person. <laughs> because the irony is I'm a social butterfly with good people that I've assessed to be good people. But there's so few good people in the world. Hence, I'm an introvert, but not because of insecurities or shyness or whatever. It's because pe people in general ain't shit. So when I see a wonderful people, then I'm gonna be a social butterfly. And I don't even know if I could say social butterfly because when you run into a wonderful people, it's usually just one or two. I don't even feel comfortable saying two because you're lucky to hit one. But anyway, yeah, so he respected me for like a year. Didn't, didn't try to get in my business. It was we handle our business and get out. I put my earbuds in. He knows that's the cool. He respects that. He uses common sense and, and got the message that I don't want to be bothered if I got my earbuds in. Let's not have a conversation. How about that? He got that, respected it, and didn't take it personally. That's the key. That's what'll get me actually 
thinking about the person as as an awesome human being, I'll be like, they didn't even take that personally. That's grown shit right there. Y'all know I love me some grown, po grown folks. Love me some grown folks. You could be young. I love me some grown folks. People that just use their mind. Because that's where what that's where what we call ancestral wisdom. That's how it comes through. That is the that is the that's the route it takes. That is the catalyst for us to absorb and be able to ingest and take heed and act upon said knowledge that comes from our ancestors. Goddess. So anyway, um, yeah, he and I, after a while, we started talking. It all started when we start when I started uh, venting uh, about that. Y'all know the white people that own it and have their sweatshop uh, operating for them. Uh, but they're uh, the chick who I believe to be the daughter or niece or whoever's in the family that runs the front desk. Actually, several of y'all are new. I don't know where y'all came from, but welcome. But uh, I've done videos where the white girl at the at the front desk always tries to get my information. She always tried to get my my name and phone number. I just hesitate to say name because it's on the it's on the damn credit card, bitch. Just anyway. But to be fair, she was trying to get it before while making an appointment. Anyway pointed y'all knew y'all don't know nothing about all that but something transpired unfolded uh i was gonna eventually make her expose herself as a dumbass and so when i did it she could have avoided it she could have just respected my privacy but she chose not to but anyway the day that i did it i went back there and I guess you wouldn't even call it venting because I was laughing about it with him. And and I was laughing about it with him with the understanding that he might not be able to say anything or chime in because he works for them, right? So I was I was like, well, I got you. I'm going to say all the stuff he want to say about this bitch right now. So I was telling him about what happened. So he was just laughing and laughing. And he said, he basically said, that's an interesting story. And uh, so I just, I told him the whole thing about how it went down. And to verify that it went down like that, she actually came in later when I was back there. She said, you have a uh, four o'clock. It was some sometime my appointment was. And I was sitting in the desk, but my name doesn't match the name that I gave her. So she was coming to tell him that he had another appointment while he was taking me. And so he told her, he was like, yeah, this is her. And so she said, Thelma? And I was like, yeah. And I'm just guessing Thelma because when I started, because when she eventually got me to start giving my name, I used to give the name of all of the black, famous black TV characters that we all know, or actors, either characters or actors. Like, men too. Denzel Washington, I was Denzel one day. I just give her whatever black celebrity name I want to. So he, she was like, you have an appointment at such and such time. And he looked up and he was like, yeah, I know this, this is my appointment. And so she, she was kind of confused cause she, cause that wasn't my name. She's kind of confused. And she's, she said, Thelma, before he could say no, I said, yeah. And then I turned around to him and I finished. And he didn't say anything because I was just, I had just been talking about this bitch. And here she show up, basically proving what I was, all the shit I was saying. So when she said Thelma, and I was like, yeah. And I turned, turned back around, let him finish doing my nails because she was of my shoulder, you know. Not directly of my shoulder. She was down the aisle a little bit behind me. And so I just said, yeah. And so I turned around and uh, let him finish doing my nails. So when she left, I finished my story about her that I was telling. So he was laughing or whatever. And after that, because, you know, the first time that he and I started talking, he asked me what I thought about something that was going on in the world. And my response was like, y'all know me. My response was like, 
I don't care because every, I mean, it doesn't even matter to me because everybody's going to let it happen. And so when I saw him respond to that, like, yeah, I guess so. He said something else and then that made me respond. And I was like, it's just like, really, you know, if people really cared, blah, 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 blah. And so then the conversation took one of those consciousness turns and he was with the shits, let me tell you. This mother, and this motherfucker is from from China, that, which is what made me drift off when I was doing my nails and talking about it and think about him. And so he and I had a lot of banter about the, not even ironic, the obvious similarities that everyone chooses not to see in both governments. And so we, we had some actually good random discussions. Even about cannabis a couple of times. And he's one of the people who knows. I I told him cannabis was be go going to be legal before it was even legal. And I was saying how, but the problem is when it is legal, people aren't going to be able to trust the testing and the dispensaries. I'm kind of hesitant to go there because I don't want that to be interpreted as a discouragement from using cannabis. If that's what you got have access to, you need to use whatever you have access to. Some cannabis is better than no cannabis. It's like I say about the lies they tell us, tell people about the testing and, mo you know, people getting fired for, or people, or product getting recalled. It's, it's so, it's so much bullshit. But anyway, I need to make that its own video. Needless to say, he and I had a bunch of deep, t deep talks and he was telling me how in China you have a social grade or something like that you have a social grade and it's actually what they're conditioning i feel like they're conditioning us to be and do here now is that people are being valued by their social virility having little to nothing to do with moral character not considering that at all so you can be the vilest hoe in the world and it's okay if your social grade is, you know, up to par, as the government would say, would deem. But, and so he was telling me too, how they literally have a social grade that is geographically orchestrated, such that you can go into a store to buy something and they can refuse to sell it to you according to your zip code but it's social grade social grade but yeah you can be refused to be serviced in a store because of your social grade in china i wonder what part he was from so but he would tell me that stuff and i wouldn't flinch i wouldn't blink twice and i was like we got next we got next they're setting it up right now and everybody's watching it happen right before our eyes and everybody's okay with it. They're willing to sacrifice everything. Their own, their children, their loved ones, their own life, colonized to death. And there's nothing a handful of people can do no matter how woke we may be. Because, bitch, if you're the only work, woke person in a room full of sleep motherfuckers, guess who's the only person that the snoring is going to bother? Yeah, I ain't finna stress myself. If I already know my life is short based on what the whole masses, sleep-ass masses are going to do or enable or not do... <laughs> I may as well enjoy whatever's left of this chip under the orange regime. Needless to say, he and I had some talks. It would happen in segments between visits, between visits every few weeks. I'm supposed to go every two weeks, but I used to stretch my shit. He used to fuss at me too. But ain't nobody got that kind of money. And ain't nobody really got that kind of money now, so. But I haven't seen him since the, uh, 
since the pandemic was forced has been forced to be acknowledged in in America. So, yeah. Am I gonna put another coat? Or should I just go with the color? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna put the color on because I'm running my mouth anyway. I need to pick up the phone and make a phone call. Okay, I'm gonna do it. All right, love y'all.